And bring some books and have Why, hello there. And welcome to my home. Do you like this gown? <laughs> Can you move on this pillow? What if we just scoot you right here? Just right here. Is that acceptable? Yeah? Okay. What a good girl. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be more in the style of like talking and doing a vlog and stuff. You guys know that I was really busy speed sewing Robo La Francaise and some other costumes for a photo retreat weekend a couple weeks ago. Over that weekend, a group of about 10 of us went to a um, like house farm thing. We spent a weekend in the middle of nowhere without Wi-Fi or cell reception, and I was mildly concerned that we were driving into a horror movie. However, I survived and had a great time, and I made a lot of new friends. We spent the weekend eating lots of great food, taking a bunch of pictures and videos, and playing dress up all weekend. Like, literally, what is better than that? <laughs> I was a little bit nervous going into this besides just like the potential for landing in a horror movie uh, but because I was kind of nervous meeting everybody everybody's really cool on social media Paige Maggie and I arrived on Friday when everybody else got there on Thursday because Paige's flight got delayed from the west coast where she is with bad weather on the east coast where the rest of us are <laughs> the new place that her airline rerouted her to was pretty close to me and maggie so i volunteered me and maggie to pick her up and wait till friday morning to take her with us by the time we arrived everybody had already like made breakfast and started being awake and doing things so we were greeted with lots of really happy smiling faces and potatoes <laughs> they literally brought out hash browns when they came out of the house to greet us and like help us bring all our luggage in. It was just a really nice welcome after a long car ride and for Paige like a lot of flying mishaps. It was it was a nice way to start the weekend. Oh, Hi! You're on YouTube now. Thank you. I'm the dad. Mm. Yeah, we'll get it in a second. We have coffee. Like I mentioned before, there was absolutely no reception in the house. It was a complete dead zone. Like you could get reception kind of at the far end of the driveway, but as soon as you went near the house, like it was just gone. There was no Wi-Fi, nothing. Really, we had to leave the property entirely to go find reception. So that's what about half the group was doing when we arrived, actually. So me, Maggie, and Paige. Uh, Yana, Charlotte, and Maggie B, who is the baby of the group, decided that we wanted to go exploring. Now, the property around the house is just so beautiful. The house itself is really gorgeous. It's just a huge house, has a really nice wraparound porch and like really cute bedrooms, but the outside is where it's just really amazing. There's a ton of grassy space. There was a lot of poison ivy around, but thankfully Charlotte is a former camp counselor and gave us a quick lesson on how to identify poison ivy and avoid it. Campers, gather round. Semi-circle campers. Clap <laughs> twice if you can hear. Thank you. That was, that was, that was so okay. hard. <laughs> so <laughs> lots, of things, lots of things have three leaves, right? Poison ivy though has thumbs. What, what do you mean poison ivy is <laughs> I'll tell you. So this right here is poison ivy. You can see that it looks like a hand that oh, way, a hand that way, and then they come together in the middle. That's how you know. It's got little thumbs sticking out and then it comes together the middle one has two thumbs. No, it also is a little it. bit red on the middle and the stem area. So that's poison ivy. See this? That's not poison ivy. That's just got three leaves and it's fine. God, but that's going to be natural. Oh, so sorry. But it was good. Okay. Oh, no. I'm going to go film it. <laughs> we'll get a little closer. So romantic. You look like Utena. <laughs> So pretty. Oh. That's so cute. 
we ran around for a little bit taking pictures and just like generally being silly then we made the trek back uphill where everybody else was getting ready to become hobbits <laughs> I made two Hobbit looks for this trip, a pink one and a green one, which the videos for those are going to be coming soon. We spent some time just like hanging out doing TikToks. Maggie B helped me get some reveal footage of my green Hobbit look, so video for that is coming soon. I took some self-portraits and I joined in with everybody else to help set up for the Hobbit picnic. Liberty Bibbity. Hobbit Picnic was really the big event for this weekend. We talked so much and like planned a lot for it and spent really half the time planning this weekend just talking about food for the Hobbit Picnic, which is very hobbity of us. <laughs> It was kind of too bright though in the mid-afternoon sun to take picnic photos so we decided to hold on the picnic and went and took pre-picnic photos out in that really beautiful clearing with the stream and the bridge until we could take nice golden hour photos. Hi y'all, you just kicked me. Cute. Yeah, I have lots of bodies. Oh, that do we wanna, do we wanna lots like- Lots of bodies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, where should I be? Um, just kind of pop yourself like my range. I mean, so like right now I'm just trying to see where we can. The logs would be great, but pigs are really heavy. Sweeter legs! I'm ready! Go! And we're just going to Woo! Happy Pride Month, the girls, the gays, and the days are all hobbits, huh? So you're going to just be kind of like leaning in on her, I think. Yeah, you can really, that's what I would have been sure you're going to I usually don't have to put a mature warning on my videos, but I might with this one. You might have to. I'm guard! I bet you! Yeah! Yeah! They're so floppy! This feels amazing. This is really wrong. That was a good catch. You did it. I just smile and laugh, pretend we're laughing. Ha ha ha. That's a good I must spin the straw into gold, and I'm sure I do not know how. In the evening, about half of us, Estrella, Maggie, Liza, Kelly, and myself wanted to have some contact with the outside world, so we ended up going to a dive bar, getting some cheap beers, and proceeded to ignore each other while we looked at our phones. There was a very nice woman, though, who said she liked our costumes and said we were very cute. It was kind of late, though, so we didn't stay for very long, and we had a 5 a.m. shoot to get ready for the next morning, so we all just kind of went back and passed out. Saturday morning's shoot theme was nymphs and everyone looked really beautiful and magical. The sun was like just rising, there was mist coming off of the surface of the pond and it was also freezing. <laughs> so I didn't get that much footage because I was cold, I wanted to go back inside and I was just kind of trying to get everything accomplished fairly quickly. A little bit more time. You look very aesthetic rowing yourself across the pond. Maybe. 
cuddling. We're Cold. keeping our beams warm. Our little toe beams. They're not, they're not. It's not working though. No. <laughs> but when they're numb, you can't feel the pain. But so. it's the thought. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm, 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 mm -hmm. good. We're also hyping everybody up. Yes, go Paige, get a girl, ooh. She could do really good at it. I'm, there, normally there's more frogs out that are like, oh, because there's been a frog. Yeah. <laughs> I got the blanket. <laughs> good for you. Yeah. Oh wait, okay. good, good morning, morning. star shine. The earth says, says hello. hello. <laughs> so Saturday afternoon was dedicated to this really amazing big surprise shoot. If you are on TikTok at all, you probably know who Queen Estrella is. If not, she's very funny. She does these skits as her like Queen of TikTok character where she just kind of acts out different scenarios. Her partner wanted to do a surprise proposal the weekend that we all got together, so he and Liza spent a lot of time planning out this fake photo shoot to catch Estrella off guard. We all got in on it and played fairy godmothers to her sleeping beauty with Elsie as the stand-in knightly prince. So it was a ton of setup. We ended up blowing up an air mattress at the Airbnb and then dragging it through the forest. We didn't drag it, we like lifted it, but we had to bring a blown up air mattress through the forest because obviously there's no outlets in the woods. And then we also brought a bunch of flowers and fabric and just stuff to make the whole thing look really gorgeous and magical. And like Sleeping Beauty, it was just found in the woods. The sun also kept shifting while we were setting up. So once Estrella got on the air mattress, there were multiple times that we had just had to pick the entire mattress up with her and the fabric and the flowers all over it and shift it over a few feet. Yana and Charlotte went to pick up Matthew, Estrella's now fiance, while the rest of us sat there and convinced Estrella that she needed to keep her eyes closed for the whole time so that she could not ruin the TikToks. So he came up behind her and the surprise was a success. She said yes, which is good. Would have been awkward if she said no, uh, but it was just a really sweet moment. I'm really glad I got to be a part of it and multiple people cried and generally like they're just really kind and very enthusiastic people. You have an itch, let me know. <laughs> Professional itch scratcher. Give her a kiss. She's gonna be up on a projector. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> Thank you for bringing food. Yeah. Happy too. Always appreciate people who feed us. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. It's that it's that meme. It's like uh, uh, feeding up. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I will start beating blueberries. Oh, <laughs> oh, All right, my turn. <laughs> oh, so close. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going until it goes in. This is beer pong. <laughs> this is cutting <laughs> core beer pong. Oh, yeah. so it's close. Very right beer pong. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm the god of destruction! <laughs> <laughs> to the bitches. Hot bitches! 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 And you run it across the seam once, twice, just get a feel for it, and then on the last time, yeah. you gotta keep it right on the seam, and you don't want to let it leave the uh, neck. Ah! It's clean. You done did it. <laughs> I feel, I feel special now. <laughs> You're powerful. I feel powerful. I take a sip, but I probably cut my yeah, lips. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. I want to do that. <laughs> We had a Rococo shoot planned for the evening, and if you haven't seen my Robola Francaise video, you totally should go watch that because I speed made a whole Robola Francaise for this shoot specifically. <laughs> but we were planning it for more sunset golden hour time, so we had some time to kill. But in the meantime, we took some more photos, did some silly things in the pond, went to a cidery, and basically crammed an entire week's of activities into one afternoon. <laughs> oh, I got 16% battery. Oh well. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are we ready? Are we are we ready? <laughs> yeah. Are good? Yes. Are you ready, kid? I am Captain! I, I can't hear you! I can't hear you! Oh. I don't know. Structurally sound. Someone crowned me. The best you friends. <gasps> dogs. Uh, oh yeah, also there's dogs. Dogs. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> hey, Minchi. Hi. Hey, you. You have a metric butt ton of hair. This is how high my arms go. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> oh, so you quite literally couldn't do your no. hair even if you wanted to. Did you make these? Uh -huh. I guess she's orange. Oh, look at all these little Oh, that's some like high quality content for your vlog. Hey, right, go it's ahead. It's educational, it's informational. Like these. So, what do you do when you're very anti and you have to eat? Glamorous. You add educational? Yes. You're welcome. Try fly down. It's okay. Perfect. Oh. Just like me. Hey, Rain looks so pretty. Did you just get me like touching my own boobs? That's cool. I didn't. I panned over the second after, but thanks for announcing it. Good. Now it's on audio. That this morning we were doing fairy pictures. Yeah, that yeah, seems like a week ago. It's been a long day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got Minji, and you guys want to hang out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She said, she said, where's my GoPro? I can't find it. Where is it? Where is it? Absolutely excellent. Excellent. Excellent, ladies. Like this. And I just imagine the amount of inside dick jokes they have must have had. It must have been <laughs> wild. Okay. Wait, let me let me be what I do. I have my many canoe related awards oh. at camp. Oh, oh. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Yana. This is what I do with stuff I have. Oh, one, one, curl your finger in the water, queen. Oh. <laughs> yeah. and see. We had planned to set up the fire pit and roast marshmallows in the evening, but by the time that we like had chilled out and like we're looking at photos and we're also fed an amazing pizza dinner by Elsie and Yana, all of us were just very tired. <laughs> So we all went to sleep around like 9.30 p.m. and the next morning we all woke up and had a big breakfast together and then it was time to say goodbye. Like I had figured I would go into this weekend and I'd get along with everybody just fine. We had all talked in the group chat ahead of time. I liked everyone and I thought that I would just have a nice weekend with nice photos and some stuff to put up on my YouTube afterwards. But everybody was so silly and so goofy and like so much fun to be around. I felt a lot more like myself than I have in a really long time. I'm hoping to see everybody from this group again in a few months, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna be staring at all of the photos and videos that everybody's posting. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it's not really my typical type of video, but I'm wanting to get more into vlogging and doing some stuff that isn't quite as like time or labor intensive as just sewing videos all the time. So I do hope you guys liked it and I hope you enjoyed seeing the kind of behind the scenes behind all of these pretty photos that get posted on Instagram and like the silly TikToks and kind of see how it all gets made. <laughs> Everyone's social media is linked in the description, so please check them out. They're all really great, wonderful people, and also just like really funny and very good at what they do. Also, let me know what you think of this vlog. Do you guys like this kind of video? If not, let me know what I can do to make it better. Do you prefer the sewing kind of videos? Uh, just generally, if you have feedback, let me know since this is kind of where I want this channel to move towards a little bit more, but it's like I'm never gonna completely stop doing sewing videos because I do a lot of sewing. <laughs> and speaking of sewing, if you want to see how I made my two Hobbit looks, 
you should subscribe because those will be coming in the future. <laughs> All right, that's all I've got for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. Do you want to say bye-bye? Bye-bye! <gasps> okay, thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs>